She's got my f***ing neck. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. Today, I am gonna have a fun family day with Lori. Lori is huge into crafts and artsy type of stuff, as you guys know. So we are gonna head later on to this glass blowing place, which I don't know, we're gonna make an ornament or something like that. Regardless, it's gonna be amazing. But the trade off is, as I said, well, Lori, you've gotta spend some time with me with my animals. And you guys may know this, but Lori doesn't do a lot of stuff with the big snakes and she is definitely still scared of RJ. Today, for a trade off, I'm gonna go ahead have some fun blowing some glass with her and making Christmas ornaments, but she has to handle some of my big animals while I'm cleaning them and doing other things. So it should be pretty fun to see how Lori handles it. My guess is she'll do very well because she's been around animals a bunch, but I'd like to know if you guys want to see that. Go ahead down in the comments and let me know what you think Lori should handle in a future vlog for sure. As we're at it, I'm going to be heading out to California, but when I get back, I'm going to do a all requested vlog coming up. So go ahead down in the comments and let me know what you guys want to see. I'll just show you guys whatever you want as far as really cool animals. It's going to be an amazing day, and I want you guys to set all your problems aside for the next 12 or 15 minutes and just have a good time with us. Let's go ahead and have an awesome day together. Okay, so the first thing I think we're going to get started on is Daisy and Lucy both need to get cleaned really quick, so I'm going to have Lori do the honors of holding them while I clean her. Is that okay? That's fine, but do your job and do it fast. Don't dilly-dally. I can't uh, promise anything, to be honest with you. No. But, uh, but in typical Daisy fashion, she's stuck in shed too. So we're going to have to soak her. First, we're going to take her out and we'll get that cage clean. Lori can play with her a little bit and I'm going to do the work. And then Lucy, she's looking a little bit uh, like what's going on. Remember the other day she was striking at the cage. So uh, we'll see how that goes. You ready for Daisy? Whatever. Let's go, girl. Ah! Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just let Lori take Daisy and uh, I'm gonna get the cage clean. Oh, God forbid he actually has everything ready. You better not have went upstairs to go on the computer. I have to check a couple emails real quick. I'll be back <laughs> in a few minutes. Hopefully, she will just be chilled today. She's somewhat behaving, although she just took my shoe off. No, actually, all in all, She's actually being very well behaved for me, which I totally appreciate. Cause I don't feel like getting all sweaty and crazy. And she's actually in a good mood today, which I'm pretty happy about. <laughs> and she took my shoe. I'm not really sure how to get in that bag. All right, there is no need to squeeze hard. Oh, she really wanted to say hi to the camera. All right, and. I'm getting shut all over. I didn't sign up for this. I was supposed to have a nice day off and then go to this glass blowing thing that I've been wanting to do. And somehow I find myself wrapped in snakes. Okay, so I just gotta go clean the water bowl and I'm good. Oh wow, that actually, seriously, that is really good timing for him. He usually doesn't work that fast. So he's being real nice today. Does it take that long to wash a dish? Well, the good thing is I feel because I'm working out, she doesn't feel as heavy as she has in the past. <laughs> okay, so the cage is all clean. How did you do? I think I did very good. Yeah, she's not squeezing too tight right now. She got my neck a few times tight. Okay, so we'll take her out and soak her a little bit later, but let's go ahead and get her back in her cage. Yeah, I'm not sure how that's gonna happen right now. This is how a true professional does it, in case you were wondering. Yeah, she takes my other shoe off. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy likes flip flops. <laughs> okay, so one snake down, now it's on to Lucy. Okay, next up is Lucy, and I'm gonna tell you just off the bat, looking at her, she is definitely not in a good mood. And I'm not gonna say she's not in a good mood, she's just ready to eat, so she is fired up right now. So um, let's go ahead and just see what happens. We'll get her out, and uh, what do you think, Lori? We'll see. Don't let her, don't <laughs> just let her go if she gets. Listen, if I tap out, you're jumping in. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, Lucy, I can just tell you're not in a good mood. Oh, Lucy, it's all right, sweetheart. She 
Alright, so guys, I'm gonna just hold Lucy with Lori for a minute because she's such a runner that she's it's almost impossible for Lori to do it by herself. Once she calms down a little bit, then Lori can kind of take it. Holy cow, she does not want to stop today. She is a beast. And like I said, she's just going. She's fine. As long as she's moving, she's fine. It's too bad that I have to clean the cage because now she's kind of chilled out. She's just kind of sitting here. Oh my gosh, she's got me tight though. It's amazing how powerful this snake is. Oh, oh gosh, she's twisting me. <laughs> it's like it's like a chiropractor I'm about to snap my back. Oh, uh, uh, uh. okay. Oh, look at this, guys. Hang on a second. Hang on, hang on. Set her down. Set her down, Lauren. She's got my fucking neck. Watch out, Lauren. Step away, step away. Okay, so things kind of turned bad on that one. I'm going to be honest with you. Not only did Lucy start squeezing Lori really hard, but she is in a terrible spot right now. And I am screwed. Can you get me that snake hook, please? I think we might abort this one a little bit. I think Lori might do the cleaning of the cage because Lucy is in a bad mood right now. Come on, girl. It's all right. It's okay. Okay, guys, I'm not even going to lie. You know, when you're dealing with big snakes like this, it's just kind of one of those things that you have to be really you know, able to read animals really well. And I was reading Lucy, and she was saying it's not good. So as much as, as fun as it was seeing Lori handle Lucy, uh, it was time to pull the plug and say, I don't want to get Lori bit. I don't want to get me bit. And uh, Lucy had a pretty good wrap around Lori's neck. I'm not going to lie. And again, she wasn't trying to choke or anything like that. She was just hanging on. She was hanging on tight. And that's a very uncomfortable feeling to have a 20-foot snake wrapped around you really tight. So, Lucy, you going to be okay, girl? You all right? The worst part is right now is that she's down here, and she's not in a good mood, and she's got my leg so wrapped that there's no way I can move. I mean, she's got me pretty much trapped right now. And man, she is coiling up for a strike. Oh, <laughs> all in a day's work, man, all in a day's work. Yeah, and she's just really fired up. I could tell just by her mentality when we opened the cage. She just had that look in her eyes, and that's something that you learn over years and years of dealing with big snakes like Lucy, is you just kind of learn their mannerism, and you can tell she was just kind of tweaked today. Tomorrow I can take her out and she could be a puppy dog, you know? But when you know that, you've got to be really careful. And that doesn't mean you can't still handle them. As a matter of fact, it's important to continue to handle them because you want to break them of that mentality, so. Okay, so Lucy still got my leg. Lori's got the cage clean. She's just doing the water right now, and then we'll go ahead and get Lucy back in her cage. First thing I'm gonna do is get her away from me here. See her ass right there? I mean, she is just, she's just, and her tongue's coming out and tasting the air. She wants to strike so bad, and I'm just kind of keeping this, this hook to her. I'm just kind of making her understand that I'm not gonna hurt her. And as soon as she's not in that defensive position, all right, good, now we got her. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, take that back. You're okay, girl. Okay. We're good? We're friends again? We're friends again? Look, she's got that strike look the whole time. All right. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. Nothing to it, right? Lori, what'd you think? All in the day's work. <laughs> <laughs> Lori bailed though. She was like, I'm out. I'm not doing this. <laughs> Listen, it's all about being smart and knowing when to say when. There was not a fight I was going to take on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have the two big snakes cleaned. I'm super excited. I'm going to go ahead and get RJ out no, so, so Lori can handle RJ. Why? Why what? Why do I have to handle RJ? Just part of the daily routine. We got to handle RJ to keep him tame. Daily routine? Yeah. Is this something new? Because I do not handle RJ ever. We have a relationship, an understanding RJ and I. He stays there, I stay here, and we respect each other. <laughs> I've been working with RJ a lot more over the last couple weeks since I was out in Chicago, and he's just been absolutely incredible. You know, he's a wiggler, but he's an amazing animal. So I just pulled him out, I'm gonna dry him up just a little bit so Lori doesn't get too wet, and then I want Lori to get a little time with RJ because she feels a little uncomfortable with him. The only way to get her past that is to have her spend time with him. Okay, you ready? No. All right, here we what go. What do I do? Just hold it. Where does my arm go? Get over here, hold it. In front? Yeah, in front, yeah, front. And then underneath. Underneath, like, okay. Both underneath. And there's RJ. What do you think? All right, there he is. Hey, RJ, do you like 
Do you like your mama, Lori? He's not bad, right? All right. What do you mean? Okay, he's starting to move. He's starting to move. He's, he's an alligator. He's an alligator. I know, and what do I do? Just let him move around a little bit. You're okay. <laughs> Lori, what's going to happen when, when I'm gone? You have to take care of RJ. I don't know. Comment down below who wants him. <laughs> no, no, you're not giving my boy RJ away. You're never giving my buddy away. You're such a sweetheart. Look at him. Isn't he cute? Don't make him mad. <laughs> I'm not making him mad. Is this the very first time you've ever held him? Yes. Successfully. <laughs> oh, no. Last time I'm pretty sure he tried to bite my arm. No, he did not. RJ's never tried to bite anybody. Look at you're doing such a good job. Okay, you want to put him back? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> go ahead, put him back. Be, be How? gentle. You just walk over and just gently put him in this pond. You gotta be gentle though. I put him in or he goes in himself? Be gentle. I am. There you go, RJ. There it is. What do you think? All right, my <laughs> is pounding out of my chest right now. I did not want to do that. <laughs> what? I can't even believe that. Is that crazy? Do you guys think that's nuts that Lori is so kind of afraid of RJ when she handles all these other snakes like that? Like no big deal at all? Yeah, well, there's a huge difference between snakes and alligators. I've got one last thing for Lori before we leave, okay? No. And this one's easy. This one's easy. No, I'm done. No, you're I'm not done. done. No, no, no. What? This one's a little small one. What? Uh, I... I just want to take out uh, Verde, the anaconda. It's a really tall, small one. No. You love Verde. Come on, no, let's go. I don't. Come on. No. Look at Verde. No. Hey, Verde. Hey, sweetheart. Look at how cute she is. Look at that cute little anaconda. They don't bite. Go ahead, hold it. No. You're not going to hold Verde? <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my gosh. It's a matter of principle. <laughs> oh my gosh. She is not going to hold Verde. Come on, just one little hold. Just one little hold. Mm -mm. Kisses. No. Kisses for beer day. <laughs> Snacks for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I guess there's always a limit to how far I can push Lori. And beer day obviously is that limit. But she did really great. Guys, go down in the comments and let me know how you think she did. She did fantastic with Daisy, Lucy, RJ. It was absolutely amazing. Regardless, we are going to wrap up here at the shop and we're going to go do what Lori wants to do now, which is glass blowing, right? Yes. And maybe have a drink or two. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think, Lori? Is this place full or what? Yeah, you know, I've been wanting to like, see and do something like this for now. It's not super exciting. We're going to make one of those up there. <laughs> I don't think that's what we signed up for. We might <laughs> have to come back. <laughs> <laughs> take a look at this stuff. This is cool. Yeah. No, they do amazing things. They do like chandeliers and stuff. Yeah, they have all the stuff going on the series oh, yeah. there. Like, they just have crazy, beautiful stuff.
This is our first experience with glass, whatever this is called. What is it called exactly? Well, it's just working with glass. We didn't blow the glass. But. Right, but it was still really cool. I mean, that was neat to see it kind of form. I can't wait till they're ready. They're cooling down now, and then once they're done, we can actually see what they're gonna look like. All right, guys, so there it is. It was a really fun day kind of spending time with Lori, a little on my world and a little on her world. I gotta be honest with you, that glass shop was really cool, and I think Lori's gonna be doing a lot more in the future because she was completely excited about it, so it was really awesome. Regardless, we're gonna go out to dinner, but I'm gonna end the vlog here and kind of take the night off if you guys don't mind. Let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this type of vlog because I'm happy to do more of them like this. You guys have an absolutely amazing day, evening, morning, whatever it happens to be. I love you guys so much. Your support means the world to me. Can you do me a favor really quick? Can you smash that like button as well as turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video, which is every day, seven days a week at nine o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. Remember to be kind to somebody and I promise I'm going to see you guys tomorrow.